Hello good people Vlad here and I got a banger of wireless headphones for you. Some time ago, I think last year, I reviewed the W820NB headphones from Edifier and I was very very impressed with them. I actually use them on the daily basis but I got something even better for you. These are the W820NB Plus. If you look at them, they look just the same but let's see what are the differences. Looking for affordable Windows or Office keys? Look no further, I got you covered. Head over to scdkey.com, pick your Windows edition, use my discount code LE25 to get a 25% on any Windows or Office products. Once you complete your order, after a few seconds you will receive your code. In Windows, go to Settings, there should be an Activate Windows prompt at the bottom, click that, enter your code and wait for Windows to finish activation. To check the activation status, use the command prompt with a command SLMGR dot vbs slash xpr and you should receive a notification that the machine is permanently activated. Once again, use code LE25 at scdkey.com. When you first open the box, it's pretty basic, you'll find just the headphones there resting in a plastic frame, it's all packed inside in a bag, I mean it's actually not anti-static bag, but alongside the headphones you'll receive a USB-A cable for charging and connecting with PC and a tiny user manual, so bring a magnifying glass. The build quality of these headphones is good, even though they are entirely made of plastic, which is to be expected for the price point. Nevertheless, they do fit somewhat comfortably on the head and around the neck, because you can do this if you like to rest them like this on, rest them on the desk. They fit tightly around the head, making them ideal for physical activities that require a lot of movement, but this does affect wearing them for a longer period. However, it is possible to stretch them out a little bit with usage or leave them stretched on something overnight like a headphone hanger. Though do be careful when doing this as they are still made of plastic, albeit quite quality one. The ear pads are made of pleather, it's a plastic made to feel like leather, so pleather, with memory foam inside, so they will fit comfortably over most ears. However, the ear pads are not that deep, actually they are deeper than the older models, so if you have bigger ears you might feel slight discomfort with prolonged usage. As usual with Edifier, you'll find all controls and ports on the right headphone, this one includes a power button, volume plus and minus button and the multifunctional button. With these you'll also be able to control media with pausing, resuming, playing and navigating songs or chapters. Below all these ports at the very bottom of the headphones is a USB-C port which you can use to connect the headphones to the PC for example or your phone for wired play and charging at the same time. The main feature of these headphones is the dynamic 40mm driver that produces a very good sound which is to be expected since these headphones are now high res audio certified which was not the case with the previous model. We'll get a bit more into detail later. When you connect these to the device of your choice via Bluetooth, you'll be able to select whether to use the SBC codec or the LDAC, where LDAC is the higher quality high-res codec, if your device supports it, of course. But will drain your battery somewhat quicker than the SBC codec. AAC support is now gone, it was available on the previous model, but the previous model did not have the high-res audio, so there's that. Another main feature of these headphones is its good active noise cancellation, or the ANC for short, which uses microphones on the side of each ear pad to actively reduce noise by a considerable amount. If you'd like to listen to something, music or whatever, while you are also being aware of what's going on around you, you can switch to the ambient mode, which makes it almost like you're not wearing headphones with also uses microphones to amplify the sounds around you. And finally, if you're not in the mood for either of those, you can turn off both ANC and ambient sound mode, which would put the headphones in the passive noise cancellation, that is to block any noise they can only physically using the ear pads over your ears. This mode will also help preserve battery life the most. Speaking of battery life with ANC and ambient modes turned off, and with volume at reasonable level of about 50%, the headphones are rated of up to 49 hours of listening time on a single charge. When recharging, you can get up to 7 hours of listening time in just 10 minutes of charging. But with the ANC and ambient mode turned on, the battery life is reduced to around 32 hours, which is still great considering many premium headphones struggle to even achieve this amount of time. When you connect the headphones to your phone, make sure to install the Edifier Connect app to get the most out of your headphones, as 
it allows additional configuration that is not available physically on the headphones themselves. You can configure the amount of ambient noise that you hear from the outside or select the 4 EQ defined presets for listening different kinds of music. It also allows you to make your own preset, though it's limited in terms of how much you can customize it. When you hear these headphones for the first time, you'll agree that the sound is excellent for the price, so let's look into that detail. All bass frequencies are neutral in most parts, but it does feel it's missing that certain bass punch if ANC is on or ANC is off, since they do leave it in either neutral or slightly reduced bass mode. Strangely, the ambient sound mode elevates the bass slightly, giving it that near-perfect strength. The mid-range is nearly perfect by default, it's balanced and neutral, you'll be able to hear all vocals, all instruments and in all genres of music actually and in videos with the clarity. Even some songs which have been known to introduce slight hissing distortion in other headphones, they play well on these. The treble is less stellar than mid-range and bass, but it's still good going into detail, the 8.5 kHz range is where the most clarity is, while the 10 kHz range can feature some slight distortion if there are a lot of instruments playing aggressively and at the same time. The four built-in EQ presets which can be selected from the app are Classic, Pop, Classical and Rock. Apart from the Classical, these presets don't change the sound that much, but Classical does increase the treble noticeably. The microphone quality is fine in the sense that it'll be understandable what you're saying over the phone or via these social apps, but its sound quality does leave something to be desired. The noise that microphone cancellation removes is actually most of the noise coming from the outside environment if it's not too loud, ensuring the other person will be able to hear you without any issues. So are these worth buying? If you're deciding between the W820NB Plus and the non-plus model, the updated features of the plus model make it a good choice for its price. However, if you're looking to upgrade from the non-plus model, it may be best to first test both of these headphones to hear the differences for yourself and conclude if the upgrade is worth it to you, since technically the only upgrade is the high-res support on the Plus model, while the non-Plus featured the ASC as best codec. But on the other hand, Plus is lacking ASC in favor of LDAC codec, but if you're looking to upgrade from the non-Plus to something else, Edifier offers a rich lineup of ANC wireless headphones. One great example is the WH950NB model we recently reviewed, so go check out that video if you haven't. In conclusion, the Edifier W820NB Plus headphones offer an excellent experience for the price. For around 90 US dollars, they can compete with other headphones which are double the price and even beat them at some features. It's safe to say that if you're looking for an entry level edifier model and you want to experience the clarity of high res audio, look no further. The W820NB Plus is excellent choice. Thanks for watching, guys. Sub to the channel, it really helps a lot. Like and share the video, and we'll be seeing each other real soon.